Just how hot does the Xbox Series X get? Well, to find out, I've got the console and a thermal imaging camera. Let's take a look. So the first test is actually going to be with the console switched off. Now, I know what you might be thinking. The console switched off, it's drawing no power, it's not doing anything. Obviously, therefore, it's not going to be generating any heat. But that's not quite the case. Because the Xbox has got its quick resume feature, it's got various things that it does when it's in standby mode, it is still doing something. And indeed, if I put my hand over here, I can feel that there is uh, air coming out because of the fans, and I can see on the thermal camera that there is some heat being generated already. In fact, you can see exactly how much heat is being generated. This is all the cold area around. You can just see the uh, corner edge of my TV just here. So where it's white and orange is where it's hottest. And we can see on this little grid up here, 18.8 degrees Celsius at its absolute hottest point, which is this bright spot right in the middle. So 18 degrees, well, almost 19 degrees, even though it's apparently switched off, because of course it isn't switched off, it's just in standby mode. Now you can change the power saving preferences so that it will completely shut down when you press that off button, because of course, if we have a look, the Xbox Lite is not on, so as far as it looks from the outside, this console is completely powered off, but evidently it is still doing quite a lot. So now, let's hit that on button, and see how it changes. So while it's just booting up, I'm not really seeing an initial change much in the temperature. It's still at basically 19 degrees Celsius, but I'm expecting that once it starts loading up into the menus, I start using the console, and certainly when I start booting up some games, that number really is going to go up. I also think we're gonna see a lot more heat coming out of the top of the console, because of course that is where it vents all the heat, that's where that huge fan is. So I do think that on the screen on here, we're gonna start seeing more heat being expelled. As you can see, we're just in the menu screen right now. The console is basically idling, it's not doing a lot, but it has gone up by about one degree Celsius. It's now at about 19.5. Before it was about 18.5, 18.6. So it is starting to warm up. I'm going to give it a few minutes of it just sitting in the menu screen, see how it changes. So while I'm waiting, I will tell you a little bit about the thermal camera we're using. It's actually a phone. It's the Cat S62 Pro, but it's got a FLIR thermal imaging sensor built in. Now it's not a scientifically accurate heat sensor. It gives you a rough overview and it does show you areas of, of heat and coolness, but the numbers that it gives you are not completely accurate. So take what we're finding here with a pinch of salt. This phone's really designed for uh, builders or plumbers who can look in the walls and see if there's a blockage in your heat pipe. But it's also just pretty cool to look at your gadgets and see how hot they get. And in this instance, we're getting to about 20.4 degrees Celsius at its hottest point. And again, the hottest point really is sort of in the middle of the console. So I guess that is probably where the main processor is. That's where most of the work is being done. But I think it's probably time we fire up some more demanding games, see how hot we can get it. Forza Horizon 4 is a pretty beautiful game, should take quite a lot of power to run. So we should see those numbers really start to go up. Okay, so I'm going to recklessly drive this Bugatti Chiron around Edinburgh, which is great because that's actually where I live and where I'm filming this right now. Okay, we're taking this off-road. Whee! This is a lesson in how not to drive a Bugatti Chiron. Uh, you can see here that we're already up to 26.2 degrees at the hottest point. 26.4, it's definitely climbing. You can see the numbers are definitely going up on the thermal camera. Probably as a result of my terrible driving, which is forcing the car to go through a load of trees and break things, which is creating more particles and more items that the console has now got to process. So basically the worse I drive, the harder the Xbox has to work to process things. So let's get reckless. Let's look at the numbers on the thermal camera. It's gone up to 35.8. That's several degrees higher 
than when we started. So it definitely is warming up, but I think it's gonna take a little bit more time, probably a little bit more playing for those numbers to get even higher. Again, it's really easy to see where most of that heat is coming from. We've still got the hot spot here, presumably where the processor is, but it's now sort of come down in this line here. Um, along the top is where the uh, heat is being uh, pumped out uh, because of that fan. So it's no surprise that um, it's hotter in the top than it is in the bottom. Down here in these bottom corners, there's basically no heat at all. Well, no, I think that's about 14 degrees, which is pretty much the ambient temperature in this room. Just moved it a bit closer so we can get more of a focused view on kind of where this heat is. And having done so, the number has gone up. We're almost at 40 degrees. We can just change the view, maybe go for this lava look instead, which gives you a different impression of kind of where that heat is. Not really seeing a lot coming out of the top at this point, but that could just be because of the sensitivity of the thermal camera. Okay, I'm gonna try some Gears 5. So after about an hour of what I think is pretty intense gaming in both Forza Horizon 4 and Gears 5, the highest temperature that I recorded on the phone was just under 50 degrees Celsius. It was actually about 49.5, um, which is really not too bad. And certainly I haven't seen any massive amount of heat escaping out of the top. If I put my hand over, it's certainly warm, but it's not venting so much heat that you'd have to really think about kind of what you're putting around your console, which I think is pretty good news. Now Microsoft hasn't really said what sort of temperatures you should expect or if it ever gets dangerous if it exceeds a certain point. Let's not forget the Xbox 360 which did sometimes overheat and that is why we had the horrible red ring of death. But also at the moment I'm basically playing previous generation games which have just been updated slightly for the Series X. So clearly they're not gonna be the most demanding things we can play on the console. In time, we're gonna have more demanding games that have been built specifically for this platform. Maybe games like Cyberpunk or when we eventually get Forza Horizon 6 or Gears 6 or Gears 11 or whatever it gets to, those games will almost certainly be a bit more demanding, probably tax this thing a bit more, and as a result, it's probably gonna get a bit hotter. But for now, I think that's been a pretty interesting little test. Hopefully you thought so too. If you have, hit that like button and make sure to keep it CNET for a lot more.